All right, what is up YouTube? Over the past month, I decided to change up my daily routine in a few ways. First is to have breakfast only after 12. So usually I would have breakfast at nine or later, but I changed it so that I now can only have breakfast after noon. And that's so that I'm in a fasted state longer. And while I'm in that fasted state, I decided, all right, let's also do some cardio because one, I lack that. And two, I've always wanted to have like a six pack and like very little fat and just have my muscles showing, but I've always been too fat to do that. So I wanted to see if this could help me get closer to that. And that's what we're here for. We're gonna see the results today. Another thing that I changed about my routine is to drink more water. So I've had this gallon in the house forever, but I just recently started using it this past month. And then even more recently, I added some lines to show, you know, this is 25% uh, filled, 50%, 75%. And then I also drew like times on it so that I could kind of keep myself on track. Like at this time, I should be about at this level. So you see here, there's little ones, fours, and sevens for one, four, and 7 p.m. And another thing that I wanted to see the results of is my blood pressure now. I've measured my blood pressure in the past and it's registered as high, not extremely high, not like dangerously high, but it is getting up there. I didn't like how I was on that road to getting really bad blood pressure. So I wanted to see if this uh, change of lifestyle could help me with that. So this is day one, this is before I've done any cardio. Right now it's like 8.30 in the morning. This is how much I weigh right now with tripod. So I weigh about 162 pounds while holding my phone and with clothes on. This is what I look like at the beginning of the month. This is me unflexed. I've got a pretty round belly. I've got like man boobs here. I've got love handles. I do have some muscle. I try to work out my arms and I do weighted pull-ups. But really I don't work out my legs like at all. So I feel like for most of these sessions of fast cardio, I'm going to do hit workouts for legs. But yeah, that's the challenge. So I'm gonna get started. All right guys, it's 9.05 now. How do I feel after day one? Just the faster cardio part. I messed up. I picked a video that was like 29 minutes long. My legs could barely keep up. My legs just felt like super stiff and tired. Hopefully it gets easier though, because this was, this was hard. So now I have to wait three hours before I can eat any food. So until then, I'm gonna hold myself over with just water and pray I don't starve. It's day two and my legs are sore. Like the very end of my quads hurt when I walk, but just a little bit. The main part of that sore is my butt. I've never been that sore even when I went to the gym for my butt. So I don't know what the heck I did, but I had to use my um, this massage gun that I got recently just to help me massage the muscle. And because of my fasting, I was almost able to finish a gallon of water. I actually had very little left, but the water is up to here. And, it, and that's just because from the moment I finished my workout at like 9.30 till 12, that was three hours that I wasn't eating. And so instead of just being hungry, I just drank water to help fill my belly until I was able to eat. And so I feel like I got a good head start on, on the water because of that. Another thing that I did is that yesterday, I got this blood pressure monitor from Target. It's just like a $30 blood pressure monitor for the upper arm. I heard that doing faster cardio in the morning every day, 30 minutes, could help decrease that. So I wanted to see if that's true. And unfortunately, I got this a little late. I wish I measured this the day before I started instead of the day after, just to see what my blood pressure is at the beginning and what it is at the end. But yeah, let's open it and take my blood pressure. So I'm pretty sure this is the thing that goes around your arm. This is the thing that reads. Man, how hard could it be? First of all, we need batteries. What the hell? Does this thing come with batteries? Batteries not included. Be right back. I have a pack of four double A's, but one is missing. And this thing needs four double A's. And I think I'm just gonna steal it from this Wii remote. Yeah, so you know how Walmart has those like blood pressure monitors? Before the pandemic started, it said that I had a high blood pressure. My blood pressure was like 130 over something. I wrote it down somewhere. Recently I've had it 
a little lower, but I want to monitor it more closely so that I'm not at risk for heart problems or something, you know? It's heart disease is the number one killer in America. It says my back and arms should be supported. You grab a pillow, looks supported to me. So basically once you're positioned, just hit start. The cuff just deflated and I get this reading, 113 over 81. Pretty sure that's not high. All right, so I wrote down some old results on this napkin. In February 29 of this year, I had 134 over 72 and I'm pretty sure that's not good. This is why I'm tracking it to see if there will be changes over time. But yeah, there you go. Official blood pressure sheet. That's enough talking, it's time for the workout. All right, the goal is to see if I can do 220 jumps in a row. Let's get it. All right, guys, so I was finally able to do three sets of 220. Day two is a lighter day in comparison to day one, but that's good because I need the recovery. And it's uh, 9.15 right now, so I have to drink water until noon to get this intermittent fasting uh, going. I'm kind of hungry right now, but I feel like if I just drink water, I'll be fine. But yeah, day two. Yo, it's day eight. Day 8 in this fitness journey, September 8th, small update, I got a package, it's a new phone. Should have better camera in there, so hopefully the video quality will increase after I open that. Maybe I'll unbox it today, who knows. My life is crazy. Anyways, let's get this workout before breakfast, let's do it. Now as you can see, it is about 10 o'clock, so hopefully this lasts 30 minutes before I give out. Burpee time. Alright, here we go for the second exercise. Push your hips. My arms are so tired. That was only seven minutes. Uh, two more rounds to go. Alright guys, as you can see, it's 1024 now. It's basically been 25 minutes. Basically a 30 minute workout if we round up. Day eight. So let me fill you in on what, what I've been doing. So over the weekend, right now it's Tuesday, but over the weekend on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, me and my girl went over to Charlotte and we went white water rafting and rock climbing and doing rope courses and jumping off cliffs. We were staying in one hotel for two nights. And as you can see, this workout was very intense and it's a lot of jumping. I didn't want to be doing that in the hotel. So in order to do my morning cardio before breakfast, I was just going on walks. It's not high intensity, but it's still cardio. We're still burning calories. So I just went for a walk for like 30 minutes, Saturday morning and Sunday morning. But then when we came back Monday yesterday, I got back on my normal routine. Yesterday I went for some weighted pull-ups. I walked 20 minutes to the nearest playground with 35 pounds on and 20 minutes back and also did pull-ups while I was over there. So definitely got my cardio in before breakfast that day. So yeah, that's just basically everything that's been going on. Anyways, that's it for today. Yesterday, I drank basically a gallon of water. Today, I'm gonna do the same. Gotta keep the water up, especially before your breakfast because you're gonna be hungry during that time. But actually, I think I was most hungry at the beginning of the month, and now I'm not really hungry, you know? I think I can last up until 12 without much, like, hunger pains. And I was watching a video just yesterday talking about fasting and how 
the more you do it, the less hunger you feel. Hunger is just a hormone, so you know your body just stops producing less of it. So I thought that was interesting. Maybe I'll link those videos in the description. Day eight, see you next time. All right guys, what's up? It's day 10. Yesterday I did jump rope for cardio. Now I'm just gonna watch a workout video. It's a seven minute workout video, so I'm gonna do it three times so I could get about 21 minutes. Let's get it. Mexican grito in the middle or something. Let's get to it. Today is October 1st. It's officially result day. Let's check the results. First, let's start with the weight. Now at the beginning of the video, I think I remember weighing in at like 162 with clothes on, which probably leaves me at like 160 with clothes off. So now let's measure the weight. All right, so today I'm weighing in at 155.8. So as you can see, thanks to these three things that I did throughout the whole month of September, I was able to drop about five pounds. Um, I actually dropped to 155.0 on one day, um, and I felt pretty proud about that because I haven't been that weight in a few months. <laughs> Anyways, on to the next thing. Time to check my blood pressure. So around like day two or three, I got this uh, blood pressure checker machine pretty inexpensive. It was only like 30 bucks. I think I got it from Walmart or Target. And now I can check my blood pressure at home. Pretty easy, you just plug in the batteries, you put the sleeve on and then you hit start over here. The sleeve will inflate, it'll measure heartbeat or something. Now one thing about your blood pressure, it changes throughout the day um, and it tends to be lower before you have breakfast. So if my reading is low today because I haven't had breakfast yet, but also probably because it's been lowering throughout the month of September. All right, so today I got 108 over 77 with a pulse of 66. Let me write that down. All right guys, so instead of writing my blood pressure on a napkin and just reading it to you. I've added it to my phone and I'll put up a screenshot right here so you can see what I'm reading. Uh, I started off on September 2nd with a blood pressure of 113 over 81 uh, with a pulse of 51. Now I'm not sure what those numbers mean but all I know is that the lower they are the better. I mean not too low because then if you have low blood pressure that's also bad. So you have to be like in that sweet spot I think. Maybe I should have watched some videos about blood pressure before recording this. And then today, I had a blood pressure of 108 over 77 with a pulse of 66. So compared to September 2nd, my blood pressure has lowered, but throughout that month, I also had readings higher than on September 2nd. So can I really say that these changes help lower my blood pressure? Overall, I would say yes but there are times that your blood pressure will still be higher. And also I didn't measure after September 12th, I had basically like 20 days where I didn't measure my blood pressure. And in those days I probably could have had good blood pressure, but that's all the measurements I have. Weight went down, blood pressure went down. It's time to see the body fat. 
Now, I don't remember exactly how I set up the camera before. Let's hope this is close so we can do like a proper comparison. All right, here goes nothing. Now, this is me unflexed, belly out. I haven't had breakfast yet. So this is me without breakfast. I look even fatter with breakfast. I also don't remember the poses that I did, but I guess I'll just do front pose. If I do flex, that's what my belly looks like. Still pretty chubby. I've still got some man boobs in here, but I think it's getting lower. Have I noticed any changes? I think I have. Just my stomach feels a little smaller. My chest doesn't feel as heavy. On my Snapchat, I post videos of me working out, and uh, one of my friends like told me that he sees that I look smaller or like skinnier. The belly has just gotten flatter. So maybe to me, I can't see much of a difference, but to other people, they can see it. So that's good. And I think I'll be able to see it once I compare both videos side by side on the laptop when I'm editing. But yeah, I don't know what else to do. I can't remember if I showed off my back. I mean, also, throughout this month, I was also working out strength training. So if my back looks bigger or like it's more muscular, it's because it is. Because I've increased my pull-up strength by maybe six pounds this month. The last way to pull-up I did was 39 and a half pounds. And a month ago, I was probably at like 32.5. I don't know how much footage I need, so I'm gonna just keep recording. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe. Should I, right now I'm thinking about, should I do a part two where on top of this, I also, stop eating sugar because I feel like sugar is also holding me back from being as lean as possible. But I just love sugar, so I feel like I don't think I could give that up. Let me know in the comments if you want to see something like that. And yeah, thanks for watching.